This is Gary Penny, also known as GP. Gary used to be my old group Iron Man account her normal account over a year ago and in that process I cleaned out the entire account leaving Gary with zero GP to his name. But as they say the comeback is always greater than the setback so in this series Gary Penny will rebuild with the ultimate end goal of achieving a max cash stack. Last episode we finally broke the 1 billion bank value and since episode 1 I've had a plan for exactly what to do when I reach this point. And that is to spend an entire week at Nex, which currently is one of if not the best money maker in old school runescape. The Nex drop table holds 6 valuable unique items, ranging from 36 million for the ancient hilt to 380 million GP for the Torva plate body. And similar to the nightmare, Nex can be defeated in either masses where you basically play the lottery hoping to be a the lucky guy to receive an item in a sea of players. Or you can go for a smaller team of ideally 2-5 to five players where you split the profits or at least have a better chance of personally receiving an item in a free for all. I will be focusing on primarily smaller teams in this video but before that let's finish up some final preparations. Why I wanted to wait for the 1 billion mark is because the next setup is pretty expensive if you want to do it efficiently. So first things first we have to sell all the expensive gear we have and buy a new setup with the money acquired. But here we are, this is the final setup we're going to be using for Nex and I did actually use a similar setup to this when I did an on drop rate video for Nex and for that I was able to duo this boss which is the hardest way of doing it. Before you can actually enter Nex you need to have a frozen key which is obtained in four parts, one from each God Wars general. But just in this series I've already made a video of killing a thousand God Wars bosses where of course I finished the frozen key already. So we are just good to go, we can enter Nex and get on with it. And before you can actually enter the actual next room you need kill count just like all the other god wars bosses and because of some combat achievements i have i need 35 kills but you can actually stack these up because these do not disappear if you stay inside of the next arena so if you kill next teleport out to this area and then come back in you still have the kc and you can actually make some money here even getting the kc you can get some dragon boots from the spiritual mages and nihil shards and some herbs as well so overall we made like 150k from that and we got 304k see which i think should be good enough before every single next kill i'm going to be doing a six way pre-pot and that is the menaphyte remedy first antidote plus plus divine super combat divine ranging shark and finally anglerfish technically you could also add the newly added prayer regeneration potion to this but one dose of that is 42,000 gp right now so a bit too expensive you know, it's been 11 months since I did next last time, so I'm definitely a bit rusty, but not too bad. We did get the first kill in a trio. Let's see what the first loot is. A lot of combat achievements and soldiers and diamonds. Okay, holy sh- How many achievements is that? Like six combat achievements? So after one kill, I got six combat achievements out of 11. And I do think most of the combat achievements here are not even that difficult. I think the only slightly difficult one is next duo doing it as two people. But I've done it before and I don't think it's too bad. Oh, what a drop. Onyx bolts and nihil shards and I was the MVP as well. If you do the most damage during the fight and get the most valuable player, you get the big bones drop, which increases the chance of you getting the unique item by 10%. So getting MVPs is always good. I guess we have the first mini milestone, 5kc and everything is going very smoothly. I have not died yet. I've not even been close, honestly, but I cannot believe... We have not got an item yet. I'm so unlucky. I can't believe it. This is an ecumenical key shard drop, I feel it. Yeah, sure. we've got a reunite or again. Oh! oh! <laughs> uh, I mean, I can, I can redo real quick. We can... I mean, I have one ranging potion. I can, no, uh, uh, I can, uh, I can go uh, more. Uh, 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 Alright, let's go. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> I was actually kind of curious to see how expensive the supplies are for this, and just the potions in one trip where we get like two kills is 229k. And counting in the Blood Fury charges and the bolts as well, it's probably around 150k per kill. Kiwi is my new best friend. Oh, we got, I got perfect necks. Oh, wait, how? Okay, with does. two people there. Yeah, that makes no sense. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Okay. It's kind of early in the grind to start doing a bunch of conspiracies on how to get loot, but we wanted to try. Can we possibly all use Smite at the end of a kill? Smite next and see that beautiful Torva item. 
Okay, so we didn't get a Torva item, but come on, an elite crew scroll, maybe there's something to the smite. It took a while to find a group today, and on top of that, I started kind of late, so we only had time to do 34 kills today, and we saw nothing, unfortunately, but it's time for me to go to bed because it's actually very late. But now that I'm warmed up to next again, I'm feeling like the future days are going to be a lot more productive. I just woke up and today, on the contrary to the last day, we have a full day ahead of us of Nex. We are hitting the drop rate for an item today, we only need 9 more KC for that, so let's just jump into it and uh, see if we can get lucky. Going into Nex, I really did not want to get unlucky because this is the big money maker and on Fosani's Nightmare I was really unlucky, but after this kill we hit the drop rate and unfortunately we got nothing, so we are now officially unlucky on seeing an item at Nex. Ain't so many cannonballs, though. I'm not complaining. I guess the first big milestone of the grind, 50 KC for absolutely nothing, unfortunately. But just as I was starting to feel discouraged about not seeing an item... Oh! Thank you, medical. Oh! 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 No! Yes! No way. Let's go! Wait, no, is, that, that's, is that's that split or no? Oh, no? No, it's split. Now, unfortunately, this drop of 300 million GP went to the only person doing free-for-all loot, the Iron Man. So, unfortunately, no split for the first item. But it just feels so good to at least see an item. Now, the question is, can we get a back-to-back? -back? Imagine Nihilhorn into Nihilhorn. Ah. It is now 11 p.m. It's been quite a while since the last clip, and we're up to over 85 KC, I believe. So we are now on our final trip of the day. So let's see if we can get lucky. All right, what is the verdict? The final drop of day number two is going to be... Wines of Samurai and Water Runes, unfortunate. Nothing too good, but at least we saw an item today. I'm happy with that, even if we made no money. At least seeing one of the best drops you can get on day number two is a very good sign. So I'm hyped for day number three. Might have gone a bit overboard on KC, but I do want to do a lot of next today, so hopefully I don't die like first KC and lose all of this. On that note... Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, shit, we got boots! Yo, Yo first unique in my name, let's go! <laughs> first next unique! But shortly after that, we hit 100 KC on Nex, and at this point, as a team, we should have seen roughly two and a half items. And with us only having seen one item, the Nihil Horn, going also to a person that cannot split, I'm starting to feel kind of nervous that this is going to be another rerun of the Fosani's Nightmare grind where I actually lost money. Now on the bright side though, I do have a very consistent team that I can run next with, so we do get a bunch of hours in every single day. These are people from my clan, so if you're doing something like this where the grind is not necessarily the most fun, you need some fun people to do it with. Oh, oops. Well, oh. <laughs> thank you guys. The team is getting very tired and it's time to do the last kill of day number three. We have unfortunately still not seen anything more than just any hill horn we got on day number two. And uh, we are about to hit three times the drop rate for an item after this kill. So hopefully we can get lucky and get something on the last kill. Triple the drop rate for... Aruns and Uncut Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh. But after three days of doing next, this is what my loot tracker looks like. And yes, this is everything that I've got because I have not got any splits from any item so far. But uh, there's always a day four. <laughs> Run! Dude, I have to outrange this. Please don't kill me. Oh! I can't wait for the clip to be like, oh, no, no. <laughs> <It's just laughs> <full of fruit. laughs> But just visualize it like a creamy sausage stroke enough. You just hear alone here. He voice over. Sorry about this clip. I, my mouth was full of sausage. <laughs> Kind of an interesting point we're hitting here on the next grind, which is 157 KC. The significance of this number is that when I did a non-drop rate video for next, I ended my KC and won my challenge on this KC number. And my loot tracker in that video said 558 million GP at this KC. We have a loot tracker that looks like this, which is uh, not, not the best. Oh god, we are about to get nerd logged in 30 minutes, which means we have been at next with the no breaks for five and a half 
hours today. And still absolutely nothing to show for it. But the team has to go and this is where we're going to be ending day number 4 for next at 167 kill count. But I woke up very early today so I still have some time left of the day. So I'm actually going to be spending it trying out the new prayer regeneration potions at Vyres because if you use these you can actually use only one potion to have basically infinite prayer for 8 minutes. Which makes them infinitely better than the ancient brews but also a lot more expensive unfortunately. So it's probably not something I want to use in the long term unless they go down in price a lot. But I do want to give them a try just to see how it goes and uh, I mean look at it, it's pretty crazy. It just keeps giving you the prayer you need to use redemption for 8 minutes straight. We actually started kind of close to 94, but there it is, 94 thieving, and we have done 82 thieving all the way to 94 on only wires. And we've only seen one bloodshot drop so far, and we are definitely extremely dry on this, so hopefully we can see another one before the day ends. Well, I guess we cannot, because we are about to hit 95 thieving. I've been here for a good while now, and it's actually getting very late, but if I can just get one single pickpocket in here, there we go, 95 thieving. I feel like I'm going to be hitting 99 thieving with literally not getting any more blood charge, which uh, is kind of depressing. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of sad. And this is how many pickpockets we have done. We have done 20,130 so far. No, no way! way. <laughs> I knew no, it! Oh I <laughs> called it. I even said we're gonna break the dry streak with my pet. I knew oh. it. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh my First kill of the God. day. <laughs> Why? That's the second I pet did. I've got of next. On my main account, I have it, and now on this account. I even told you guys, like, I'm lucky on pets on this account. If my goal was collection log here, I would be so happy, but because it's money making, that is just depressing. But uh, that's now how my collection log looks. We have the Nexling, almost 500 Nihil shards, and absolutely nothing else. But quite a start to the day, I have to say. Back to back. back, to back. Come on, back to back pet. No, back to back pet. As soon as you have access to. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Today is the day. That's a split, oh, that's right? The day. That's oh my, my third purple play. Oh my god! That's like the best drop we can get, right? Yeah, three way split. Let's go! Finally, we make some money. Must be nice. Yes. One hundred and eleven million. Let's go. Yo. Huge. That's massive. Thank you. Yo. Oh, oh my what? god. <laughs> Dude, god. Yo. Yo. How much is that? Like 4k C after? Yeah. Oh my god. It's <laughs> raining in finally. It's coming. Yeah, so we've done 8k C. We've seen two drops in a pet. <laughs> that is insane. 83 million. Not bad. But unfortunately, not everything can go perfect at all times. One step to finish the casket. I died. Ah, oh, god damn it. No. Ah, oh, uh, you guys can get something good, I believe. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Let's go for two more plate links for you at least. Let's go, dude! That's nice. Huge. So unfortunately, the second Torva plate legs we got was going to the Iron Man that could not split anything. But at this point, can we really complain? Oh my god, it uses 50 prayer? Oh, my prayer! No! What? It takes your prayer! I've got five prayer! But... Equip them. Ding. Ooh! Ding. Yoga pants? One single hit for 98 attack, look at this. And I missed. <laughs> Boom! 98. But that is 200 KC down on next, and with the day number 5 coming to a close very shortly, I think we're going to be doing just one or two more trips. I have to say, this was the most insane day of next I'll probably ever do. I am so incredibly tired now, I have to admit, so it's going to be nice to go to bed after this one. Air Orbs and Wine of Samurai, nothing special for the last drop, but uh, I am getting out of here. We've been here for a long while today. As I was waiting for my team to come online, I actually killed some tormented demons because they are currently 7.5 mil an hour, and it turned out to be kind of worth it.
Oh, we have burning claws, unfortunately. I mean, they're 13 million, so I can't say unfortunately too much, but uh, they are the same drop rate as the Tormented Synops, which is the main item I'm hunting, and they are currently 53 million. Kind of lost on that 50-50. But the team is ready, and we're starting on 208 KC, and I'm hoping we can end today on roughly 250, and then for the last day, do another 50 and end overall the grind on around 300. But if we have time, we can do more than that, but that's a good goal point post. Even though we had an amazing day yesterday, I haven't seen any item in my name yet, and honestly, I would just love to see the beam on the ground, so maybe, hopefully, we can get something in my name today. Oh wow, we get another pair of ancient ceremonial boots. Uh, these are the second ones, and uh, unfortunately, that's the only drop of today. It seems to be a theme. When we get nothing, we get ancient ceremonial pieces. Now, this is the loot for 250 KC, and I have 616 Nihil shards, and the way that it works is that on rate, you should get 350 Nihil shards for every item in your name. So at this point, in my name, on my loot tracker, I should have seen one and a half items. So I'm really hoping I can get that item soon. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Oh! Yo! Yes, yo, finally. finally! Finally! An item in my good. name! Yo! Sarah Van Braces. Okay, it's not the best drop, but 98 million. It's something. It's something. It's something. It's something. Okay, well, I guess I will have to leave and go and sell this then. There they go. 96 million. 95.9 million. Because the other person in the group was the Iron Man that previously got the Torva items, we actually only had to two way split this, which actually made it a pretty profitable item to get. It was actually getting very late already as we got the Sarah Van Braces, but because we did get it, we got a second win and we decided to do a couple of more kills. But this was the last kill of day number six. I do want to finish all the combat achievements before we finish the next grind, and we have a 9 out of 11, and for one of them, I do need to do it in a mass. You have to kill next while having cough enabled on some player at all times. And the last one is just do a duo next, and uh, we have teams to do that with, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Okay, literally everyone is coughing, so it's looking good so far, but one godsend of a plugin when you have so many people in a mass is the Entity Hider. Look at that. So much cleaner, and my FPS just doubled pretty much. How is that a Grandmaster task? Did it on my first attempt in a mass, very easy. But I guess if you're doing it in a three-man or four-man or even in a two-man, it's probably very difficult, but mass has kind of trivialized the whole thing. Come on, one more hit. Seven! Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, Yay. let's go. Good, good luck. luck. Oh, combat achievement though. That is, I think that's green log now. Everything. Go down oh, yeah. and yeah, everything is green. I'm going to save him. I'm going to save him. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you baited me. Baited the shit out of a look. <laughs> Clam's laughing, but he was almost a goner. Yeah, he I was, was I was directly over. Protect from me. Bye. Oh my god, I got so baited by the, the beam. No! Dance, uh, flex for the last. Oh, ah, close call, it baited me! Oh, yeah. Nihil shards and cannonballs. By the way, Hornet, Could be worse. But that is where we decided to end the grind, right on 300 KC. We could have done maybe an hour more, but people were already getting tired, so I thought a nice and even number would be a good point to end. In total, we ended up getting five items, two of them which was not a split at all, so we ended up only splitting three items. And for 300 KC, we should have actually seen seven items, so we were actually quite unlucky on this grind. And of course, we got the pet as well, but that is not counted in for the 1 in 43 to see an item, so that is just bonus. But still, not nearly as bad as the Fosani's Nightmare grind. And very early on in the grind, we did yet an elite clue scroll, and I didn't want to take too many detours, so I only did one and uh, 78k for that one, I guess, and a collection log slot, so I'll take it, I guess. Meanwhile, I was editing the next footage, I once again headed over to Torment the Demons. Oh, let's go! We actually got a Tormented Synapse! 53 million GP. Yo, that is like the same split or profits, I guess, as getting the Sarah Van Braces. Let's go. Instantly sold for 52 million GP, 51.48 after the GE tax. Not bad. And our bank is now 1.44 billion GP, so we're definitely getting closer to that max cash stack. That means that this episode we managed to profit 290 million GP. Around 230 million of that just from Nex.